How's it going everybody? Squeegee Dino Toy here today, and I'm very excited to bring to you my map creator asset for use in Unity that will make it a lot easier for people to get started creating maps in Unity for use in Skater XL. The goal of this tool is to make maps like the one you see right now with absolutely zero experience in Unity or 3 modeling or texturing at all. Everything that you need should come preset. So, let's go ahead and take a look at how we can install this tool and get going. So first things first, you're going to download one of two files. You can either download the Map Creator Unity Asset, or you can download the Preset Project. So I'll show you how to use both of those really quickly. For both of them, we're going to take these RARs that we download, and we're just going to go ahead and extract here and I'm going to extract these into separate folders all right so we've gone ahead and exported these files we've got our map creator and the preset project so to open up the preset project it's very easy to begin with you need to make sure that you have a version of unity 2018 the specific version doesn't matter so much I personally am using 2018.4.12f1 at the moment but again, any version doesn't actually matter as long as it's 2018. You can just go ahead and hit add, download the version you want. Again, any 2018 version where you cannot use 2019 yet, and I don't think 17 works, not that you'd want to use it. And go ahead and install your version of Unity. So now we're going to come to our projects tab. We're going to go add. And wherever you just downloaded that to, I put it in this folder here and it's in the SDT preset SXL project. If you extract it with WinRAR, it'll create this folder. Then inside that folder, we're gonna just select this folder, don't open it, and you can hit select folder. It's called SDT preset SXL project with no underscores or dashes. Select folder, and there we go. It'll load right up, and then we can just open that project. If you are not using the Unity Hub, we can also do this just from the Unity Launcher itself. So here I have launched Unity 2018.4.12f1. And the process is almost the same. Hit open and navigate to wherever you have that file saved. It's in here. Select folder and it'll open it right up. The other way of doing this is by creating a whole new project and then importing the asset. So we're going to go ahead and click new and we're going to want to select the high definition render pipeline and hit create. And to create a new project using Unity and not the Unity hub, just click new template high definition render preview, H high definition RP preview, and you can name it whatever you want and continue from there. Okay, so once we've created a whole new project, it'll open up and it'll look something like this. Your layout may not look exactly like mine, but it'll look very similar. So to go ahead and import the asset, it is quite a simple process, but we need to go ahead and clean up a little bit before we get started. This is not necessarily a required step, but it'll help you know what things you do need and what you don't. First of all, we can delete this readme file. We can also go ahead and delete the tutorial info folder. We can delete the settings folder. Let's definitely delete this scripts folder. And you can also delete the example assets folder. We can leave the presets and the scenes as these shouldn't be an issue. Now we're gonna go ahead and import our asset. So I have exported my RAR assets and this one is going to be in the map creator v1 underscore zero or whatever version you have downloaded and we're going to go ahead and open that folder we're going to open the folder that's inside of that folder and then this right here this map creator dot unity package is what we want and you can just go ahead and click and drag over to our assets folder after it's thought for a second it'll give you this window in unity the import unity package window and you're going to want to go ahead and import all of this stuff Okay, so now that we've imported all of that, your window should look something like this. As we take a look at the hierarchy, we're in the sample scene still, and we can actually go ahead and exit that. If we click on our scenes folder, 
we can double click on the builder example scene to take a look at what the scene that you saw in the intro looks like in Unity. So we can zoom out and take a look here. This is the sample scene that comes with the project. It's pretty small and basic, but you can definitely see that a high level of visual fidelity is achievable with the asset that I've created. Something else to note is that it's a good idea to not delete this scene because I've used a couple small techniques in this scene that I'll be covering in later tutorials, and it's useful to have a good way to look at those techniques in Unity without having to look necessarily at the tutorial. You can use this as a good reference of how some things need to be done sometimes in a map. One final thing that we're going to want to do to make this as modular and easy to use as possible is enable one small asset that comes preset with Unity and all you have to do is install it. So we're going to go to Window and then we're going to go to Package Manager and then we're going to go ahead and click on All Packages, wait for it to load, and we're going to go ahead and scroll down here and we're going to find ProGrids here. Currently it's in version 3.0.3 .3, and we're going to install ProGrids. Once you've successfully installed ProGrids, you should have this toolbar here. If you don't, you can come up here to Tools, ProGrids, and enable the ProGrids window. This is a very useful tool for snapping things together and making sure that everything stays aligned. Pretty much everything that comes in this asset bundle is set up to be used with ProGrids and should snap together pretty well at a point one increment. If if you need to, you can set this to a lower increment, or you can also turn it off and on if you'd rather use manual vertex snapping, which is useful for things like rails, and unfortunately the buildings I created aren't perfectly aligned with the point one on ProGrids for some reason, so vertex snapping can be useful there. So that's how we go ahead and get our scene started. In the next tutorial, I'll go ahead and start getting us going on creating our first map. So click the link in the description for that tutorial. Thank you so much and catch you next time.